In the year 2025, one man made it his mission to never die. His name was Brian Johnson. He ate 2,000 calories a day, slept exactly 8.14 hours per night, drank his son's blood recreationally. My mother said she loved me. I logged it as an emotional irregularity. Do you ever feel happy? Only when my telomeres lengthen, but that's rare. I replaced joy with data. My safe word is longevity. He became the most optimized man alive and also the least invited to parties. Anti-aging supplements are more popular than ever. Thanks to people like Brian Johnson, see the intro, and Andrew Hubedog Huberman. Hubedog! But how do you know what actually works and what is just Gwyneth Paltrow in capsule form? Let's dive in and talk about the legit anti-aging supplements and the ones that are just cry for help capsules with branding. So let's cut through the chaos, look at the data, and figure out what might actually help you age less like a banana. Worth it or worthless. Long-term meditators have increased telomere length. Apparently it is what tech billionaires take to stop aging. Where uh, they're showing that it is possible to start reversing your age. I'm Jake and this is Bottom Line. I've spent over a decade in the supplement industry for my career. Now, I break it all down so you know what's actually worth it. Cause this isn't cheap. The longevity supplement market is expected to hit $44 billion by the year 2030. That's a lot of money to not die. But like most wellness trends, this space is a mix of promising science, blind optimism, and stuff that was probably sold in a pyramid scheme 10 years ago under a different name. So let's talk about some supplements that actually have data behind them. Number one, NMN, nicotinamide mononucleotide. This stuff increases NAD plus levels, which decline as you age. Some human studies show improved metabolic function and insulin sensitivity. The data isn't perfect, but it's more promising than most TikTok wellness hacks, and it's not extracted from your son's soul. Bottom line, worth trying, but buy from brands with third-party testing like Wonderfeel, Elysium, and Doublewood. Some don't even contain NMN, so they don't publish their testing. Classic. Number two, spermidine. Yes, it's really called that. No, I didn't name it. Surprise. Yes, we're all adults here. Supports autophagy. That is your body's natural cleanup process. Some human data shows improved hair growth and cardiovascular function in older adults. Bottom line, emerging research looks solid. And bonus, saying I take spermidine at Thanksgiving dinner is a great way for your uncle to check in with you later privately to see if you're doing okay. I wasn't. Stick with those brands that publish their third party results like Doublewood, Plant Pills, and Vitality Pro. Number three, C15, which is short for pentadecanoic acid. This is pretty cool. This is the first essential fatty acid to be discovered in 90 years. So kind of a big deal. It's what is called an odd chain saturated fatty acid. It's actually found in butter and whole milk that was originally discovered in dolphins. Laces out, Dan! It's being hyped as the next omega-3 with early data on reducing inflammation and improving mitochondrial function. So this stuff is legit as f Bottom line, it's still new, but intriguing if you're into biohacking via dairy fat. Legitimately though, there's peer-reviewed studies, which is rare for supplements. It's only sold by the company Fatty15, since they were the ones that discovered this. Unpaid ad, I personally buy and use this stuff, and I can tell you, my blood work has thanked me for it. But if they want to pay me to take it, I wouldn't be mad about it. Number four, resveratrol. This is the molecule that launched a thousand wine headlines. Drink red wine to live longer, said people who just wanted to justify drinking a shit ton of red wine. Animal studies show benefits, but human studies, meh. Most of these supplements that use it are underdosed 
or unstable. Bottom line, resveratrol is overhyped. You're better off just eating real grapes and pretending it's a lifestyle. Some other ingredients here that are worth a mention, Ficetin, it's a promising senolytic, but we're in the early stages. If you're really into this stuff, you've heard of it. Collagen and hyaluronic acid. This is more about cosmetic aging, not biological lifespan, so different video. And then last of all, rapamycin and metformin. Note, don't DIY these, unless you like gambling with your organs. Before we go any further, we need to talk about Brian Johnson. If you weren't familiar, the anti-aging space is full of characters. Disclaimer, I am not making these claims and do not support anyone participating in these behaviors for educational purposes only. There's the guy who injects stem cells into his eyeballs. The woman who only eats raw meat and swears she's reversed menopause. And then there's Brian Johnson, who turned his body into a science project and somehow forgot to include joy in the metrics. Now look, I'm not here to roast the man. Okay, maybe a little, but it's worth asking. Are we chasing health or are we just running from death in an aura ring? Brian Johnson, he's the billionaire tech founder who sold his company to PayPal and then decided to spend millions of dollars trying to reverse his biological age. Because when you have a midlife crisis and $400 million, apparently you don't buy a motorcycle, you build a biohacking bunker. Brian's goal is to achieve donor age 18 in every organ system, which is basically tech bro for make every part of me younger than my son, including my soul. Bro, I'm ex-Mormon as well. I get it. Here are some things he's actually done. Eats the same 1977 calorie vegan meal plan every day. Fun. Wakes up at 4.30 a.m. to start his optimization protocol. Also fun. Tracks over 100 biomarkers daily. Nice. Injected his own son's blood plasma into himself and his into his dad. Does colonoscopies for fun. Has a medical team of over 30 people and refers to himself as a professional rejuvenation athlete. Meanwhile, I took a multivitamin and chased it with existential dread. Now, I'm not saying Brian's totally off the rails here. Some of the stuff he's doing has real science behind it. He's just taking it to such an extreme that it feels like watching a TED talk slowly turn into Black Mirror. And he's doing so much, how will we ever know what helped and what didn't? That's my problem. Also, if I ever say the words, I'd like to transfuse my son's blood, I want you to slap the shit out of me. I don't care where we are. The Brian Johnson effect is important though, because it's what happens when longevity becomes an obsession. He's not selling supplements directly per se. I mean, he does have a supplement brand called Blueprint though. They're not paying me in case that wasn't obvious. But he's fueling a whole industry of people who want to live forever without addressing why they're so scared to age in the first place. Here's my updated supplement routine to reverse my biological aging clock. I wish I would have started taking metformin years ago. I was gonna say it and I don't care who gets mad, but if you wanna pause the clock on physical aging, here's what you're gonna do. So yeah, thanks Brian. You've inspired a whole generation of people to spend 500 bucks a month trying not to die, instead of just going to therapy like a normal vampire. The sunlight is great. I too enjoy the sunlight. Look, here's how to tell if an anti-aging supplement is worth your time. Number one, is it backed by human clinical studies, not just mice or Jeff from Reddit? Number two, is the dose in the product what was used in the study? Hint, it's usually not. Number three, is the brand transparent about testing and sourcing? If the product name sounds like a crypto coin, maybe skip it. And last of all, is the influencer selling it wearing a lab coat for no reason? If so, that's a red flag. Look, anti-aging supplements aren't magic, but some of them do show real potential, especially NMN, spermidine, and C15. Just remember, living longer isn't worth it if you're miserable, bankrupt, and peeing in a jug because your biohacking schedule says it's optimal. Supplements can help. But actual anti-aging starts with regular boring old things like getting enough sleep, managing your stress, and not treating your body like a startup you can optimize into immortality. See you in the next life, I hope, or at the very least, in the next video. If you made it this far, you're either genuinely interested or trapped in a spiral. Either way, 
please hit like on this video, subscribe to my channel, and send this to your most supplement obsessed friend. And remember, if you're ever tempted to inject plasma, just take a nap and eat some fruit like a normal person. Thanks for checking out Bottom Line. We'll see you next time.